All right, either God here coming to you live and direct with another video. And, you know, it's, what, 2.49 a.m. in the morning. Um, I go to work in a couple of hours. But I had some questions um, that I wanted to ask. You know, um, I'm talking to myself and I'm also talking to, talking to whoever's listening, whoever has answers or whatever. And I just want to share my message. Um, with the people once again um i have some questions and comments because i was listening to remedy h i was listening to his video about um ascended masters and that's what sparked the, um the question you know i've been had this question but um i want to expound upon it and i want to see if like anybody understands what i mean when i ask this question or these questions, um, cause you know I had wrote them down too. I wrote them in the, in this comment section, and I um put them in my you know my little notes, so I can document um this. Anyway, number one. Okay, for the ascended masters, of course you can be an ascended master if you've never been enslaved here on Earth. Or had to go through this BS we are experiencing collectively, right? Um, so what I'm saying is anybody can be an ascended master if they've never been enslaved. So the reason why I said that because I feel like we're not ascended masters because you see what we're going through right now. And a lot of I feel like a lot of people gonna probably disagree because i don't have because they may not have the same mindset that i have which people um tend to say that i have a pessimistic pessimistic um uh, mindset based on how i um you know share my thoughts and stuff like that. you know um at least that's what i assume um basically if you've never been enslaved, of course you can progress in life or become a stronger spiritual being. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said that, like, if they've never been enslaved like we are today, yeah, you're gonna be a ascended, you're gonna be an ascended master. Granted, I don't know what an ascended master is because that's just a term, that's an English term. That term doesn't mean nothing in the cosmos. But using my logic, based off the terminology, an ascended master, I assume, is someone who's overcame something. You see what I'm saying? Some, 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 a being that's overcame something spiritually, that's an ascended master. You know, um, yeah. Okay, I have no idea what an ascended master is, honestly. I just assume it's a being who overcame something. Now, are they that term? Are they an ascended master because they... Hold on, let me see. Are they an ascended master because they've experienced what we're going through? Basically, I'm saying, like, they've ascended their consciousness or it became stronger because they've experienced and overcame what we're going through yes or no so that's what i want to know is an ascended master an ascended master because they have went through slavery they've went through being beaten physically and mentally and emotionally they've been through what we're going through right now to become an ascended master because an ascended master, I feel like, is is a being that came before you. You see what I'm saying? And they had to go through what you, <clears throat> what you, what you are going through, or what you. I don't know. I, I'm starting to confuse myself because <clears throat> I'm getting lost in time and all of that, which is also an illusion that they created. Oh my God! Just I don't know. I'm just, I'm just lost. I'm trying to be found, so that's why you know I'm 
you know, asking questions because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know nothing. Um, so I'm just asking for help. Um, yeah, are they an ascended? Are they an ascended master because they went through what we're going through, or are they ascended masters just because? I'm an ascended master because I never been through nothing, so I'm just gonna be an ascended master. I'm just a god because I never, I never was a slave. I never was tried up. I never had to defend myself. I never went through nothing. So I'm just, I'm just a god. I'm just the Most High just because I never been through something. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 what do you like? Do I sound like I'm coming off as pessimistic or? Or what? Like, let me know in the comment section, because I don't know. That's just how how I'm thinking right now. Um, or are they ascended masters because they've never been limited? Because I feel like we're limited, especially with our creativity. Like, we can't do certain things um, within the constructs of mankind. You see what I'm saying? And if we are creative enough... They'll just kill us for being so creative and steal our invention and then profit off of it. Off of it. You see what I'm saying? And that's some BS. That's some BS. For somebody to be somebody to create something to better humanity, better them themselves spiritually, and then you still get killed. Because I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, anyway. If I or we were never enslaved, I'm sure we'd all be ascended masters, like I said before. <laughs> now, question is, does this system supposed to exist as a test or not? If it was supposed to exist, then, okay, I understand. If it was supposed to exist. So was this system supposed to enslave us as a test? So we can ascend? Yes or no? If it was meant to be here, then okay, I let I let go of my mindset. You know, I let let go how I'm thinking. Cause now I understand or understand why I'm going through this situation, why why while I'm experiencing this frustration. But as of right now, I don't have an answer, so I'm frustrated. Um. Anyway, let's say I die right now, and I end up coming back here to this system, to this world, to this region, to this dimension, whatever you want to call it. If this system is supposed to exist, then I'll just have to repeat the cycle again with this new system or another way of death because it's not a way of life. This system is not a way of life. They're all about taking life. And they practice that every day. Y'all can see it on the media and y'all know that's what that's their nature. To take life so they can continue to, to thrive. But anyway, I'll just have to repeat the cycle again with this new system or another way of death. They're trying to spark with digitization. In other words, they're trying to spark up a new system that they can feed off of using um, electronics, technology. That's going to be their new system. Science is going to be the new religion where you have to depend on Bill Gates to, you know, that you're going to have to depend on these people's medicines to to um, to so-called heal you. You see what I'm saying? And you going um it won't be no more physical um paper money or applications and stuff like that. Everything gonna be digit digi uh, digitized. So that's what I mean by um repeating the cycle again. If I was to die, so I gotta come back to this world to experience a different version of the system, but only a hundred percent digital. Um, if I die and go to or if I die and go to another realm, portal, dimension, region of the cosmos, whatever you want to call it, would I be enslaved there too? Is there another version of slave uh, slavery in other in other parts of this co cosmos of or existence? 
You see what I'm saying? Like, is there now it, if slavery is going going on in another part of the world dimension or whatever, then I have a problem with that. Slavery needs to end. That's all I'm saying, especially here, because I'm here right now in the physical flesh right now experiencing it. And a lot of other people are experiencing that slavery with me. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Um, how would my conscious train to grow stronger with no limitations like here on earth in the flesh? What I mean by that is how can my spirit grow strong if I'm never fighting? They had that in um, the movie Eternals. They talked about that. Or, or you can look at the movie King Kong. If you've never been, if you, if you've been fighting and then you stop fighting, you gonna obviously lose your powers or or your skills. So you have to sharpen them back up. King Kong had to sharpen his skills back up so he can so he can fight again, so he can get back strong again. You see what I'm saying? So if we if we not fighting, we gonna lose our powers or we gonna lose our strength. You see what I'm saying? Because we're not fighting. So what I'm asking is, how will my conscience grow stronger if if slavery didn't exist? So you know, so I'm wondering like, are there are there earth, other challenges in the cosmos? You know, but just not like this version of slavery that we're going through here. That's what I'm wondering. Um. What, I, what else I said? Okay. Okay. Number three. Even money can't free me or us. It's crazy how people got all these investments and some are even financially free, yet can't get over the fence to escape their panhandlers, a.k.a. the elites, Illuminati folks, the Rothschilds, Queen Elizabeth, children, whatever you want to call them. No matter how much money you have, you cannot get past them is what I I'm saying, at least I think so, I, at least I think they can't, but as far as I'm, I'm aware, these elites, they pay the financially free people, they pay the Jay-Z's, they pay out to uh, the LeBrons and stuff like that, how can we get past those, the panhandlers, how can we get past the people that do the payouts? That's what I want to know. Um, and who are they to say we can't get outside of them? They need to be punished. Um, anyway, because I don't have a full understanding of what this reality is or whatever you want to call it, reality, dimension, experience, whatever. Because I don't have a full understanding of what this reality is, I'm in... I'm, yeah, I'm in, and we're in, in collectively, I'm always thinking, what can I do to escape or end what's taking place without having to do suicide within myself and the external events going on? I'm going to say that again. Because I don't have a full understanding of what this reality is I'm in, and we're in it collectively, I'm always thinking, what can I do to escape or end what's taking place within myself, my personal battles, and the external events going on. You got monkey pox, uh, money monkey pox. You got folks still in mass just because and because of monkey pox. You got um, money on the brink of collapse. You know, they're going to try to get the digital money, whatever, Bitcoin and all that. And then... You, you know, communities, they barely even exist, especially in America. You know, like we lacking so much connection. It's crazy. Um, So, yeah, hopefully y'all get what I mean by that. Because I don't have a full understanding of all what I just said, this is why I'm always in a, I guess you could say, um, state of lostness. Because I'm not going to say I'm fine when I'm up here asking all these questions. So that's, you know, I'm just finding, trying to find other people that I can relate to that may um, feel the same way that I feel. Because, you know, it's...
is it kind of it's kind of getting getting to me. It's been got to me, and I'm just I'm just tired. That's it, you know. So I'm just making I'm just getting a message out there before I leave this planet, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say right now. I'm about to go back in and eat before work because I um I woke up late. I mean, I woke yeah, I woke up early. I had took a nap right out the work, so I woke up uh, a little early. So I'm finna go eat again. Um, before I, before I end this video, uh, long, it's a story that I want to talk about. Um, short little story. Um, so basically, my homeboy was trying to put me on to this guy who's into real estate. I'm trying to learn how to make money so I can become financially free and reduce my bills. And stuff like that, you know, because with the system that's in place, we got to pay bills and shit like that. That shit pissed me off. But if I'm going to, you know, uh, stay in this game until the shit crash, I want to be, quote unquote, financially free. So I'm trying to do that. He put me on to this guy um, who I didn't know that was religious. What I learned from him, my boy uh, Wayne, Wayne, he told me that you should never um like connect with people um like you come at them open-minded just assume that they're lost or whatever just don't put business in um um how can i say basically the guy that, that he wanted that he was trying to connect me with he was he's very religious and because of the way that i came at him open-minded not knowing that the guy was religious the dude didn't even respond. So I can't even get help from him because he's religious. Highly religious, goes to church every Sunday, he said. Um, well, that's what Wayne said. I didn't, the, the guy, the actual guy that's in the real estate and making money, you know, I guess he's successful. Um, he's religious. So religion has him. So what Wayne was telling me is that um just assume that they're lost. Or, or or I have to play the part as being a, a lost sheep. Don't infuse or don't involve my my uh, open mindedness toward people like that. You see what I'm saying? And I was like, damn. So I I can't even get help from my brother because he's religious. When I'm asking for help and that shit pissed me off. It made me tear up inside, and it's just so unfortunate because of religion a spell that these beings have put on my people i can't even connect with them i can't even get help because of a fucking religion bro that shit pissed me off but you know it is what it is um they going they just going to have to fall with the religion you know as the as the times go by cuz you know it's a great awakening right now, and a lot of these uh, uh, beliefs are being destroyed. Um, to an extent, but you know, cause a lot of people just want to hold on to this stuff, and I, I just don't get it. Like it's so unfortunate that this happened, and that's what frustrates me more because it happened. And I can't let that go. I wanna, I need to let that go, but I, I don't know what it is in me that that it angers me that the fact that they got away with this, they did this to our people, they got away with it. And I wanna know, can it be undone? And if it can't be undone, that's unfortunate. So. You know, it is what it is. I'm finna go in. I appreciate y'all listening. Hopefully y'all learn something from this message. You know, like, share, and subscribe. All I'm trying to do is just reach as many people as I can to wake up. And that's it. That's all I care about. Either God signing out. Peace.